we all know about NDT, uh, which is non-destructive testing method, uh, which applies on a material to find any surface and subsurface defect. Okay, uh, before going to that, let me ask you a question. Okay, what is A is ME? What is A S N T? Okay, what is A W S? Okay, and what is A S T M? Okay, what are all these things? Without let me clarify from the A S M E, which is called as American Society of Mechanical Engineering. Okay, so by reading the name itself, you can understand something which <coughs> forms the rules and regulations uh, to do such kind of testing methods or such kind of materials when it is released under these sections. Okay, so when we going uh, from the sections, uh, I also notice there are 12 number of sections. Okay, so there are 12 number of sections which is called as boiler pressure vessel coats. Okay, so which is having some kind of rules and regulations to build a material, to build a pressure vessel or to build a tank. Okay, so we just want to follow these kind of sections to make a tank or to make a boiler or to make a pressure vessels. Okay, so in these sections, there is one section which plays or which hold the NDT, which is called as ASNT, plays the fifth section. Okay, so when starting from ASNT, it is called as American Society of Non-Destructive Testing. So it is the major section who plays a major role in placing an NDT uh, rules and regulations according to the standards. Hey, what are you talking about only American, American, American standard? But there is also a standard which is called British standard and European standard or any some country standard origins. Okay. So there is a British standard NDT uh, while establishing the standard around the world. Let me explain about the standards initially means uh, there are uh, several standards uh, depending upon the country origin, British standard, European standard, uh, American standard, also Japanese standard, some kind of stuff like that. But uh, if you are uh, selecting the American standard means, uh, please uh, let me go through it first. Okay. So, well, explaining these things, I also uh, can explain about the other origin standards. Well, moving into the ASNT, there is a rules book called as SNT TC 1A, which means Society of Non Destructive Testing Technical Committee 1A, which holds some rules and regulations who uh, should study and what kind of uh, what kind of content. Uh, he can able to practice what kind of testing training hours should be carried out and what is the final level test uh, he should perform uh, and get the certifications. So this kind of uh, content should be present in the SNTTC one year. But if you are uh, going into the preliminary level, you can only choose the level one, which means you should play a technician role while performing the NDT testing. So you can literally grab the testing instrument and do the testing procedures. And finally, you can acquire some result. Okay, so that's all. That's your job done. When you move on to the level two supervision level means your responsibility is much more wider. So after getting the result from the technician, you should make an evaluation supervision and make a certification for the testing procedures and finally you can all uh, you can do the you can make a document of all the activities and you can submit to your higher officials okay you need to move on to the level 3 okay who is the authorizer of all these testing methods okay so he is the person who authorizes everything, what kind of testing method should be carried out for such a kind of materials. Okay, so if it is a welder job or a casting job, okay, what are the quality procedures to need to be followed? What are the quality procedures need to be governed? Okay, so he is the authorizer who can authorize every kind of testing activities. Okay, so finally he put any final certification means that's all. 
the particular product is passed you are in, uh, you are in the level 3 position you just make sure you have to take a proper test from the authorized a s and t okay well you can make sure just want to study all the rules and regulations uh, practice your testing methods and finally you just need to attend the proper examination uh, which is kept under the a s and t well you get passed from the a s and t uh, authorizing test means only you are getting the authorizer position but otherwise if you are failed in such a particular exam means you need to re-attend that okay so make sure uh, if you are able to get uh, proper knowledge means only you need to attend the ASNT level 3 test otherwise just play uh, just you just want to play in your level 2 position okay so level 2 position is quite uh, simple you need to make uh, you need to get some practice in the institutions or directly from the level 3 so just need to get practice means uh, just all know about the documentation means you can perform the testing means you are in the level 2 position so if your level 3 uh, is authorizing you means uh, you are in level 2 position but uh, level 3 can easily authorize you uh, in your level 2 position because he uh, should give you the practice he should give you the testing materials he should give you some um, uh, documentations to follow uh, in your level 2 position okay so if he authorized means you are a level 2 person but when you are uh, in a level 1 position means you don't want to take any practice or any any training you just do the testing uh, procedures uh, as per your instructor who is in the level 2 position okay so just perform such kind of testing method and you take the result and you can submit it to the level 2 okay so the level 3 is the highest position and level 2 is a uh, little, little bit uh, low uh, down position but you, you can able to operate some kind of documents okay. While moving on to the NDT methods which is in the ASNT okay. So let me explain with that uh, respective hours training hours okay. So the NDT has the trading uh, testing methods uh, like an articles, okay, which is called as ASME Section Five Articles. Well, Article Number One is uh, denotes the general requirements. Okay. The Article Two denotes radiographic testing, which is having a training hours of eighty hours. Okay. Uh, the Article Three uh, might not be up there, which means uh, there is no art testing methods which is introduced under Article Three. Uh, well, moving on to the Article Four. The Article Four denotes the ultrasonic testing for seam jobs. Okay, so the seam jobs means welder jobs. Okay, well you can have a seam of line projecting on the welder surface. Well, you are performing any ultrasonic testing methods for such kind of welding materials means you just need to follow the Article 4. The Article 5 denotes the ultrasonic testing for seamless jobs. The seamless jobs, regular casting jobs are also called as seamless jobs like continuous casting of solid rolls, solid pipes, hollow pipes. Article 4 and Article 5 having a particular training hours of 80 hours. The Article 6 uh, denotes the penetrant testing uh, which holds the training hours of 40 hours. The Article 7 means like magnetic particle testing okay which holds the training hours of 40 hours the article 8 denotes the eddy current testing having an 80 hours of training hours then article 9 having a visual testing inside but uh, you just need to take only 40 hours of training well you just want to practice any visual inspection for any uh, surface inspection for materials uh, like casting bodies uh, machined areas welded areas so such kind of visual testing should be considered as a, uh, uh, should be considered under asme article uh, 9 section 5 article 9 okay and then uh, article 10 uh, denotes the leak testing well you might have any uh, quite doubt uh, what is the leak testing okay so any any tank or any pressure vessel 
should pass the leak test okay uh, there are uh, hydro leak test uh, pneumatic leak uh, pneumatic leak test well you can fill the compressed air inside and applying any soap oil on the outer surface if you having a leak means it can be uh, it can give the result okay uh, there are some kind of other leak test called as helium leak test uh, negative leak test called as vacuum test okay so there are 24 articles 24 testing methods under ASNT which holds inside These are the simple basic steps, uh, simple basic testing methods which can be performed under low budget and medium budget. But there are some kind of testing methods which demands the high budget, okay, like neutron radiography, uh, uh, like uh, thermography, acoustic emission testing, magnetic flux testing, long range UT, phased array ultrasonic testing. There are some kind of testing methods demands high cost, but these initial six methods only uh, uh, only demands the low cost and medium cost okay okay and hey if you are starting your career in NED means you should need to uh, get passed in basic eye fitness test which means you need to check your eye vision level in your normal uh, local hospitals eye hospitals okay so you should have a basic distance vision basic near vision and you should not have a color blindness to approve some kind of testing you should have basic eye fitness level then only you can practice such kind of testing methods in field okay so if your fitness eye fitness clear means then you are passed to do uh, basic testing methods in NDT okay thank you